I've had a lot of people ask me about my ribbon bows. And I know when I was learning how to make them, I couldn't find a lot of information all in one video. I watched a tons of videos to understand and figure it out and learn where to get products, um, what measurements to use for certain sizes, what size ribbon to use for certain sizes. I kind of just played around with it until I got um, what I liked. So, um, the first bow I'm going to make is going to be just a 4 inch boutique bow. I get all of my ribbon from hairbowcenter.com along with um, ribbons and bows oh my .com. They have a lot of solids, a lot of pretty colors, several different prints. I buy the big spools because I make a lot of bows. The first um, thing is for a four and a half inch bow, you want inch and a half with ribbon for like gross grain ribbon. So for my four inch, I cut it 32 inches. This is actually long for what um, you need it for, but I do have extra so I can cut it off. And I am from South Mississippi, so excuse my accent. So my ribbon part for my bow is 32 inches. And then for my center knot, I do a six inch piece of the same width ribbon. Um, the trick to the tray is this beauty. This is a template from the Brilliant Bowmaker Company. I think it's a little pink ladybug. Um, they come in several different sizes. The only two I use is the inch and a half. And then the one for the two and a quarter inch ribbon for my five and six inch um, bows. So first things first, for the center, you get a six inch piece. And I fold it, I don't know if you can see this or not. I fold it into thirds. So I fold it over twice to make it a third of the size. So it's like this. So you're going to get it. And you're going to make an awareness looking ribbon out of it. So I have... On my right side, this piece is over the top, and my left side is under the bottom. So I get the right, and I tuck it under the back, and pull it through. And then when I'm up here, I'm going to twist it to the back, and then pull. You'll have extra um, ribbon left over, but this is what makes your knot pretty in like a diamond shape versus a tight knot on the front of the bow. And then I just cut it probably, I'd say an inch down. I'm going to show you two different ways to heat seal as well. You can cut it like I did, heat the end, smash it together, and it kind of like melts it. Or you can get a wood burning tool. These are extremely hot. Get them over like the craft section. I got mine at Walmart. And do the same thing. Measure about an inch down. I put a manila envelope um, underneath here because it will melt through anything else and burn wood. And then I just cut it. It melts it off and heat seals it for you. So it just like melts those ends together. And then you don't even have to worry about cutting it. It just cuts it all off for you. Okay, so there's that. I don't heat seal mine until I get finished with my bow. So you're going to fold it in half and find your center crease. This has these different lines on it. When you buy this kit, it comes with a book and tells you different dimensions and shows you little pictures on how to do it. So if I'm looking at it, I always use this line on my left to line up the center piece. So I'm going to cross it over this way. So it looks like this. It also has letters, so I'm going to rub it off. This one is E to B. So we have E over here and B over here. I always start with the left side and then you just cross it over. This is going to make a bow like the figure eight method. It just keeps it all in line for you. And I leave about an inch and a half or so through on this side. And it kind of snaps in place. And then you do the same thing on this side. Inch and a half. And snap it. So it looks like that. I pull mine back here to make sure they're even. If they're not, you can just adjust it to where your loops are even. And then same thing, I come back to the left and I snap it over the middle, like that. And again on the right. 
It's weird doing it on a video because I do it so much I don't even think about it. So you left with this. I make sure my loops are even here too. Some people sew. I don't sew. I'll show you why in a minute. I just have learned to hold it with my hands. That's the big thing is learning how to hold everything. So you just unsnap it all. And just keep it tight in the middle. That way you have your shape. And that's what I have here. So on my four inch, I only do three pleats. So I fold in the middle. Up. It's like a fan fold and down. And then again on this side. And there. So now you have your bow. I use upholstery thread because you cannot hardly break it with your um, hands and it holds everything tight. I just twist it around several times real tight in both directions and then I cut it and just tie a nice knot. I just tie it several times so it don't come undone. I've never had um, anybody fuss about my bows coming undone. I just make so many and sewing is not an option for the amount that I have to make. Okay, now you get your fingers and put in the loops on the top and the bottom and then I just pull and twist like this. This kind of evens everything out. So now you have this pretty little bow. Um, at this point you can go ahead and cut these off. I just kind of angle mine. And there's no rhyme or reason. You just find what you like and the way you like it to look and go for it. <laughs> People have gotten out of making these bows because they are challenging. I've thrown away a many of them. I promise you. So you just glue this on the center. I'll give it time to dry. And then I have these two different size alligator clips I get from Hair Bow Center also. I use the short ones for my small bows and these longer ones for my bigger bows. And then glue. I don't line these either. Same thing. I don't have a problem with them any coming off. And just glue it on the back. I used to stiffen these um, for everybody, but the cost of stiffener went up, and so now all of my singles I don't stiffen. I just use stiffen quick. Tell everybody to get stiffen quick, and they can purchase. That keeps me from having to mark my bows up any more than I want to. It's got tape on the back of it. Um, these cards were custom printed from Hair Bow Center. I got the graphics off of Etsy. And just send it to them. And this is what you have. This is a four inch single twisted boutique bow. It's cute, it's classy. Um, many people like it for their smocked and boutique outfits versus the fabric ones, just because these are traditional. And I will post some more in a little while. <laughs>